हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ हैंडलिंग एरर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर द एरर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस एरर्स आर द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट अकर इन द प्रोग्राम ड्यू टू एन इलीगल ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म्ड बाय द यूजर और बाय द फॉल्ट ऑफ अ प्रोग्रामर which halt the normal flow of a program errors are also known as bugs or fault basically there are two types of errors in programming compile time error and run time error compile time errors are the errors that occur when we write the wrong syntax if we write the wrong syntax of any programming language then the compile time error will be thrown by the compiler and the compiler will not allow to run the program until all the errors are removed from the program when all the errors are removed from the program then the compiler will generate the executable file let's see the example of compile time error inside the main function we have declared one integer variable a and value 10 is assigned to it and try to display the value of a now run this code after the execution of this code there is a error expected semicolon before colon in this case we try to print the value of a but it throw an error we put the colon at the end of the statement instead of a semicolon so this code generate a compile time error second one is run time errors the run time errors are the errors that occur during the execution and after compilation the run time errors are division by zero these errors are not easy to detect as the compiler does not point to these errors the run time errors are the errors which are not generated by compiler and produce an unpredictable result at the execution time it contain the errors such as division by 0 determining the square root of a negative number let's see the example of run time error inside the main function we have declared one variable a and value 10 is assigned to it and declare one another variable b and the value of b is a divided by 0 and try to print the value of b now after the execution of this code there is a warning division by 0 in this code we try to divide a value of b by 0 and this throw an run time error the run time errors are also known as exceptions in c++ what is the need of exception handling it's often easier to write a program by first assuming that nothing incorrect will happen right but sometime user input any invalid value for example you made a program to find the factorial the factorial of 3 is 6 the factorial of 5 is 120 but what if user enter a negative value that is minus 5 now in this case there is a exception we cannot compute factorial of negative number so for such cases exception handling is used there are some common failure where we need to use exception handling new keyword not allocating memory sometimes your storage is full and you cannot allocate memory division by 0 invalid function parameter basically there are three keywords that are used in exception handling try throw and catch suppose we are in smartphone manufacturing company after a smartphone is made every company test product if the product pass the test 
then it is okay to shift this is our try block right but if test fail then it is resend to production line it is similar like we are throwing it in a production line so this is our throw block and production line is like our catch block who know how to fix that error but there can be multiple catch statement because there can be multiple type of errors are there like display screen error hardware fault software fault so there will be a multiple catch statement in a program so in exception handling three keywords are there try throw and catch the try statement allow you to define a block of code to be tested for errors while it is being executed we can say the try block is used to keep the code that is expected to throw some exception whenever our code leads to any exception or error the exception or error gets caught in the catch block in simple term we can say that the try block is used to define the block of code that needs to be tested for errors while it is being executed for example suppose we are dealing with database we should put the code that is handling the database connection inside a try block as the database connection may raise some exceptions or errors the throw keyword throw an exception then a problem is detected which lets us create a custom error the catch block is used to catch and handle the errors thrown from the try block if there are multiple exception thrown from the try block then we can use multiple catch block after the try blocks for each exception in this way we can perform different actions for the various occurring exception in simple term we can say that the catch block is used to define a block of code to be executed if an error occur in the try block for example we are dealing with database now if during the connection there is an exception raised inside the try block then there should be a catch block present to catch or accept the exception and handle the exception let's see the code for exception handling first of all inside the try block declare one integer variable a and value 10 is assigned to it then after that put the condition if value of a is greater than equal to 20 if this condition is true then see out assess granted if this condition is evaluated to be false then throw a exception in this case exception is of integer type then try block body end with the closing curly braces to so catch block is for handling the exception to so catch block takes one integer argument int no in this case exception is of integer type that's why we have to pass integer argument then with see out display the message assess deny
now run this code now after the execution of this code the output is assess deny now in this case first of all condition is to be evaluated value of a is 10 10 is greater than equal to 20 condition is evaluated to be false then else part is to be evaluated we will throw an exception and handle this exception in the catch block in the catch block we catch the error and do something about it the catch statement takes a parameter in this case we use an int variable that is num because we are throwing an exception of integer type in the try block if no error occurs then catch block is skipped let's see if the value of a is 30 now in this case 30 is greater than equal to 20 condition is evaluated to be true then see out assess granted in this case value of a is 30 that means it is greater than 20 then the catch block is skipped now in this case the output is assess granted next question based on exception handling division by zero exception now in this case first of all inside the main function declare two integer variable like a and b a and b are the variable of integer type then with the c out first of all display the message enter value of a and b and with scene extraction operator input the value of a and b then use the concept of exception handling exception handling in c++ consists of three keywords try throw and catch so try statement allow you to define a block of code to be tested for errors inside try block check the condition if b not equal to 0 if this condition is true then see out a divided by b if b is not equal to 0 if this condition is true that means there is no error division of a and b is possible otherwise throw an error throw block is to be executed the throw keyword throw an exception then a problem is detected so catch block is for handling the exception Cache statement allow you to define a block of code to be executed if an error occur in the try block. So catch block take one integer parameter. Exception is of integer type. That's why we have to pass integer argument in the catch block inside the body of catch block display the message division by zero and print the value of i now run this code after the execution of this code input the value of a and b value of a is 14 and value of b is 7 inside the try block we have to check the condition if b is not equal to 0 now in this case b is 7 7 is not equal to 0 
condition is evaluated to be true then see out a divided by b 14 divided by 7 the result is 2 2 is to be printed onto the screen in this case there is no error if no error occur the catch block is skipped again run this code now after the execution of this code input the value of a value of a is 12 and value b is 0 now in this case If B is not equal to 0, 0 is not equal to 0, condition is evaluated to be false. Else block is to be executed inside the body of else block through B. So value of B is 0. So value 0 is thrown. Now in this case, we catch the error and the catch statement takes a parameter. In this case, we use an int variable that is i because we are throwing an exception of integer type in the try block. In this case, the output is division by 0 that is 0. We can also use multiple care statement in a program. In next video, we will discuss about how to use multiple cat statement in a program. This is all about exception handling in C++.